That's also adorable. There's a lot to choose from. Oh, a little Winnie the Pooh jungle. Oh, toddlers kill me. Like, they literally just kill me. Hey, my little teacherinos, and welcome back to a new video and to a new cast Monday. So, I know this is technically a little bit cheesy because it's more of a challenge than a cast. However, I wasn't planning on doing anything else with our rainbow gang. We've done the girlies, we've done the boys, we've each found sims that we are kind of in love with now in their beautiful rainbow form. And I kind of thought, no more rainbows, we've sort of done everything. Sorry, I'm too far away from our microphone here. But then you guys started tweeting me saying, why don't you try a toddler rainbow challenge? And you actually shared some of your toddler rainbow challenges. And they were just so cute that I'm like, okay, one last one. Maybe even two if I do a toddler boys and a toddler girls. But I figured we have to do a little toddler challenge just because they are so, so cute. So do you guys try the challenge? Don't forget to share with me your results on Twitter or Instagram. If you want me to do a boyo challenge, boyo rainbow toddler challenge as well. Let me know in the comments below. As always, if you enjoy this video, please give it that cheeky thumbs up and give it a little bit of a share. Your support helps me so, so much. And if you're new to this channel and you enjoy this video, please hit subscribe. I've got loads of some stuff on this channel for you guys. Loads of stuff for you to catch up on as well, actually. Have a look. There's an awful lot of stuff for you. And if you hit that notification bell, you'll never miss a video. And I'll get to see your little cutie comments when I first publish my video. And that makes me really, really happy. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's try the rainbow toddler challenge. Okay, so I should be able to remember all the colors by now. <laughs> but I still kind of feel like I can't. Okay, it's red and orange and yellow and green and blue and indigo and violet oh my gosh two videos ago i literally didn't know any of them yellow and green violet no blue and indigo and blue and violet and now look at me i'm like a rainbow pro i have improved so so much okay so that means you can't hear my lame rainbow song anymore although you're gonna hear it because it should be red and yellow and pink and green orange and purple and blue that will always be the rainbow to me okay that is will always be my rainbow okay so we're gonna start with red and so we have to give her adorable little red eyes and every time i've done a red sim so far i don't know why but they've kind of turned into winter chic maybe with this one we don't go for winter chic i don't know i don't know okay so i'm gonna see what kind of like adorbs hairs i've got as always i'm gonna be using custom content just so that i can get some kind of different looking Ooh, some kind of different looking cutesy pie sort of sims and also just because i sure hate clay sims you guys know it i know it we all know it this hair is kind of adorbs it does have it in orange though and orange is gonna be kind of tough so Mm, I might try and save some hairs for orange. Oh my gosh, look at this though. Look at this though. So much cute hair options. Look, you click that and you expect yellow and you do not get yellow. Kind of cute for sort of the purpley ones too though. Okay, okay. You guys hate this hair, but it is my favorite hair to put on a similar Rooney. I just love that hair. <laughs> I actually just love that hair so much, but there we go. Okay, so like with the other ones, I'm gonna take the hair off while we make her cutesy at the beginning. And she's set to full chubby checkiness, which I'm totally gonna keep because it's adorable. However, you guys know that we do the toddler's adult challenge. If I give them like big adorable eyes and little baby noses and like just basically turn them into these adorable little angel children, what happens is when they become adults, they turn to like crazy horrible beast monsters. However, you guys, this is just for the toddler challenge. I ain't making them adults. These, these kids at this sounds bad. These kids are never gonna see adulthood. So you know what? I can kind of do what I want. And that's sort of exactly what I'm gonna do. So cutesy little kids, you know that that's what we're getting. I don't care if they've got big crazy eyes because they're never, we're never gonna see them as adults so I can make them as adorable as I choose to, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna give this one like a little kind of little button nose, but like a little poochy fat nose at the end just because it's so, so cute. And can I make a toddler's eye schmize? I kind of can. So I kind of am gonna. Toddler's faces are sort of weird in this game. Like, there's not quite as much you can do to them as you can do to an adult's nose. And also, stuff that you do to them as toddlers in this changes their appearance so much more than you would expect. In fact, what I will do is I will 
go ahead and like age it up before I put the details on just so you can see how mental she would look if I did decide to age her up into an adult because I promise you it would be scary. Okay, so I really have just tried to go for like fat poochy cuteness. Watch this. Are you ready for something super weird? Actually, you know what? Nowhere near as weird as I was expecting, but still kind of extreme features, right? Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I'm kind of digging the hair it's given up, by the way, but I'm gonna go ahead and look at some skin details. For my googie, I still have quite a lot of choice, even for toddlers, because I have just so much CC. So that's kind of exciting. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go pretty freckle -a for this little googie, just because I find it awful, <laughs> you guys know. But also because I kind of feel like red hair sort of lends itself quite nicely to freckles. I'm also gonna go for this little goo-goo skin, just because goo-goos are awful cute. I'm sure you guys can agree. I'm trying to find like the most freckle-tastic version I can. I mean, that's pretty freckle-tastic. This one's got little moly moles as well though, which obviously I really, really like. And like, I always tend to go for these eyelashes because I just find them super adorable. Some of them will have dodies on them, but because of the skin details I've put on her, I won't be able to put eyelashes on this screen because I think it would take them off. Yeah, yeah, see how it took off the skin details there? Or it takes off the eyelashes, which is fine. This one won't have a little dodie. You guys always laugh that I call it dodie. I don't know why my family call it dodie because Ali's family don't, but mine most definitely do. And I'm just gonna go like ultra red on this Baba, I think. Like really going hard on that red theme, especially because she's got like a little wider nose at the end. I wanna put like the little redness on it. Oh, she's cute. You guys knew she was gonna be cute. And here she is being all adorable and whatnot. Is it a bit much to put lip gloss on a child? Ordinarily, I would say a million percent yes. However, this is meant to be a red challenge. So I kind of feel like we could get away with red lipstick. I don't know, maybe I'm going a bit far with this. I don't even know, I don't even know. Oh no, it's the wrong color red. Oh no, 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 that won't work. That won't work. However, that would have been very adorable. Look, this one's like from Redhead Sims, I think. And I don't even have a very red hair. That to me is more like burgundy, kind of scarlet -y sort of vibes. Okay, I kind of feel like it has to be this. Just because she's looking so cute that I, I wanna do a little cry. Maybe even a big cry. Maybe even a big cry. Is there anything else I can put on her? Cause I just like layering this up. Could I put like um maybe a slightly different color red in her eyes? Oh no, it's kind of looking a bit crazy, isn't it? Maybe a bit light? Mm, I don't know. Maybe it's all a bit strange. Does that add to the red or take it away? Literally it does nothing, Claire. What are you even doing? Although that's real cute, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna, mm. This is where I get torn. I'm like doing such mini school changes that nobody cares about this, Claire, except you. Like literally nobody else even cares. I like how this is drawing more attention to a little red nose. So I think I'm gonna go for that as well. And then as you guys know, I love a good eye bug. I love a good eye bug. So I'm just gonna draw a little bit more of attention to these under eye bits. And then can I put some of these corners on? <gasps> She's so cute and happy. Oh, I love her. <gasps> can I give her a red bow? That would be super adorable. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you are so baby right now. However, is it detracting from her little bun buns a little bit? I sort of feel like it is. I might save it for somebody else and just give her this instead. No, I think I might save that for somebody else too. I know, I'm like back and forth. I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, let's find her an adorable little red. I kind of want to make her into like, I don't know, like a little munchkin because I feel like she is very munchkin. What about like that? <gasps> Oh my gosh, so cute though. Little red polka dots, what do you reckon? Got two choices for the polka dots. I'm kind of digging this one though because it's got like roughly pom-poms at the end. And then has she got some little red tights? Oh my gosh, you're looking. Oh, no, what about socks? Socks, 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 socks. You know how much I love a good sock. I love it when they do the brap raps. They're so cute. I don't know if they like want to be little rap stars one day, but they're like brap brap. And it's adorable. It's not really a sandals kind of outfit, friendo. That is adorable. You look mega, mega adorable, my little gigaroo. There's no bracelets. Can I? I don't think I can put jewelry on a child either. All these things that are frowned upon for children, I'm just like, yeah, layer it on. And I think we are all done. So this is, instead of red, it's baby red rainbow. And I think, as we can tell, she is super cute. Should I go? I never changed her skin tone. Maybe I go a little bit paler. Oh no, she looks like she's dying now. <gasps> Too red, abort! I'm kind of digging this pinky glow for her though. <gasps> she's so cute! 
Okay, we've started off super adorably. You guys, let me know what you think of little Babaru Red. My next color is orange. Okay, let's move on to Babaru Orange. Speaking of cute, Levine is going into her bed. <laughs> Babaru number two. Let's get straight in there with some orange eyes. I love that it's taken me literally this long to like remember all the colors, but I'm there. Oh, these are like wise eyes. This child looks so wise looking. Actually love that. Okay, what should we do with you, kiddo? I, everyone has to schmize nowadays. It's just kind of the way I roll on this now. I'm gonna give you sticky out your ears just because I think it will be really, really cute. Can I change like the nostrils on a toddler? Oh my gosh, I actually can't. That's kind of cool. Okay, I just want to like hone in on the wiseness of this child and I'm actually gonna like just check what kind of orange hair options I can get. Because like to me, that's not really... That's brown, isn't it? Like I'd love to give her that hair, but it's not orange, which sucks because I do think that would be real cute. What about if I made the bow orange? Does that count? Is that cheating? Is there even an orange bow? There is an orange bow. What do you reckon? Is that a little bit cheaty? I love it, but I think it's a bit of a cheat. I do think it's a bit of a cheat, guys. I could give her this hair instead, though, and that's totally adorable. Oh my gosh, how angry does she look with those eyebrows? She mad. She mad. I want to keep this wise look about her. <gasps> no, don't give her orange eyebrows. <laughs> These are like those, you know, eyebrows that are like overly like blended in. Can babies even do that? Should babies even do that? I don't know. <laughs> I feel like after you watch this video and see like the amount of makeup and stuff I put on the children, people will be like, Claire should be allowed children. Like, I just, I don't really agree with Claire ever being allowed to procreate, really. Does she still look wise? I want her to look kind of like, almost like she knows something we don't, even at a young age. <laughs> Am I going a bit into the backstories of these kids that may never even make it into the series? I like that. I think she looks wise. I don't think I can pierce the ears of a child. To be fair, whenever I see little kids with pierced ears, I'm always like, I don't really know how I feel about it because they didn't, they're didn't almost too young. It's not the craziest thing, obviously, you can do to a kid, but still, I'm kind of like, that kid hasn't really decided that. I don't know. Oh, this is a strange looking child all of a sudden. Okay, I feel like she's still looking quite wise, so that's good because I did want her to look nice and wise. Okay, what's going on here then? This is like a little facial glow. Okay, I'm kind of digging that. I am digging that. Looks like there's a bit of a line coming from where her plots like meet her forehead, but I sort of like it. I don't really like these lips, so I'm going to swap them out for these ones. Uh, maybe I'm not. No, I like that. I think she's looking bonny. And I kind of like the extra shadow doing this to her eyes gives her. Like, just gives her a little bit more complexity. A bit more complex. She has a complex child. What about a tiny heart? Does a tiny heart work for the wise look? Oh, she's so smart that she's a Sheila. No, that's like not fitting her at all. Do they work? What are they? I don't really know, but I kind of like them. No, leave the hearts off. Can I give her some glasses? No, glasses are the sign of a wise child. Oh no, you can't give her like lucky glasses. Okay, fine. What about Dodie? No, but she's too wise for a Dodie. No, she's too wise. She's a wise child, this one. Okay, so I'm not gonna do any of that. People will get Dodies though. Don't even worry. It's gonna happen. Dodies will be dished out. And I'm kind of digging this little fox rig out for her just because it's so cute. Oh, the how cool is this little Adidas top? Love that on her. Oh my gosh, I have so much cute stuff for kids that I didn't even know I had. Oh, I want a little girl now just to put this on her. Oh my gosh, look at those things. Ah, the little buttons on the butt. Okay, Claire, you're spending ages. Like, get it together, girl. Let's go for these because they're real cute. Oh, I just want to put welly bobs on everyone because they're so adorable. However, what else do we have that is orange? Orange is kind of a tough color. We've got orange welly bobs. Oh, they're cool. Oh, I like those. Okay, no, they are the clear winners. Okay, I think we're done. This is baby orange. She, uh, Baby orange rainbow. She is like wise. When she grows up, up, she will tell us things that we need to know about the world. Let's see how she looks when she grows up. Kapow! Okay, she's got some weird skin details going on there. What, better take those off? Yeah, see, everyone's gonna have huge eyes. Everybody is having themselves some huge eyes, but at least as a child, wise, and can I just say, insanely beautiful. Like, you can imagine her in, like, a catalogue. Like, she's real cute. Okay, so we got adorable chibi checker, baby red, and then we've got beautiful, wise, baby orange. Let's move on to baby yellow. Okay, so here is our little starting baba 
Maru and take all these details off her. I've done yellow as, no, I've done yellow as real dark skin. I've done yellow as real pale skin. I don't really know what to do as this time. I'm kind of feeling pale again though. Or like maybe somewhere in between, maybe just like here. We've not had like, cause we've had super pale so far and we've had this beautiful kind of honey colored skin. So let's go for somewhere in between. And then the yellow eyes is kind of the creepy one with this child. I'm not even gonna lie like that. I'd love to do that instead, but it has to be yellow. So let's just embrace yellow. Let's just go full yellow on her. And then I think I'm gonna make this little girl like super kind of like she's real like little and shy. That's the way I'm gonna do her. So obviously it's straight away we go for the big eyes. Although I'm gonna, ooh, kind of, I wanna make her like look a little bit like sad almost. That's the vibe I'm going for. Oh, look, she looks like she's gonna cry. That's the vibe I'm going for. I've like my face when I'm doing her is like, the whole time. Oh my gosh. She looks so like, she's making me feel sad just like looking at her. Are you so sad, little child? Because I've made you sad, that's why. I feel like this one defo needs a dodie. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting from her. Okay, I might give her a more realistic skin overlay as well. Just to mix it up a little bit. Should give her like huge eyelashes as well. She stopped looking so sad though. Remain sad, my child. I can already tell this one would be the weirdest looking if I aged her up. Like, I just know she would be. Okay, I've given her a little Chick Dodie. <laughs> It's so fun making stupidly adorable children. Oh, she's so pretty. Okay, we got some cute hairs we can put on her. We could go for my absolute standard hair. Oh, super adorable. She is real cute, you guys. Can't even deny she is real cute. I mean, that's pretty yellow hair right there. I love it when they're like... <laughs> so cute. I know if there's a go for that kind of hair or like that kind of hair. That one's kind of goes with the eyes a bit more and it's kind of crazy, which I sort of like. But this is more the hair you actually expect to see on a child. Oh my gosh, this one's almost too much. Like, there's a lot of hair for a kid. If your kid had this much hair, you'd be like, has he got a wig on? Oh, I just love this hair though. I'm sorry, I'm spending ages. I can't help it. I just really like making little toddlers. I find it really adorable. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one on her for now. Doesn't mean it will stay there, but at least for now, I do like it a lot. Should I give her a little pinky nose? Just a little tad bit. I wanted to give her this one, but I can't because the skin details sit on top of it. I'm kind of wondering whether to keep it a little soup. No, I'm gonna give it. It's like little teething marks, isn't it? Which kids definitely get. I'll give her just like a little touch of that in her eyes just to make them more interesting. And then what absolute pure googie can we put on you? Oh man, if they had that in yellow, you know she'd be wearing that because that's so cute. That is also super adorable. Her skin tone looks a little strange from afar, but I guess it's realistic, isn't it? That's also adorable. There's a lot to choose from. Oh, a little Winnie the Pooh jungle. Oh, the toddlers kill me. Like, they literally just kill me. I'm gonna have to put her in the Winnie because have you ever seen anything more adorable in all of your time? I don't think you have. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. My name is Baby Lello. Baby Lello Rainbow. And let's face it, I am totally adorable. Do you see how strange she'd look as an adult? Actually, you know what? Really not that bad. The eyes are a little strange, but still not that bad. So let me know what you <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think of little baby yellow? So we've got yellow, yellow who's like a standard absolute adorbs, and then we've got orange who's wise and worldly, and then we've got red who also is absolutely adorable, let's face it. Super, super googie. Did we see how she looked as an adult? There you go, there you go. She, her eyes go a little strange. Oh well, she gets quite extreme features, but it's fine. Just take her as the child that she is, okay? So on to another similar Rooney. This time it is green. Okay, I actually love the face of the starting sim it's given me. That's real, real cute. But I'm gonna change this little Babaroo up a little bit. There's just something about green that I think kind of works for like a more Asian style sim. So that's kind of what I'm going for. And you guys said that if I do um, like monolidded eyes again, I shouldn't put on such thick eyelashes. So I think I'm gonna try that. Oh, these eyebrows. Looks like someone's just got charcoal and like smudged at each side of her face there. Okay, she's looking. Very cute, actually. I don't know how it would translate to an adult, but I like her so far. Her lips maybe need a little work. I have to try and find a skin detail now. It's not going to give her eyelids. Why is the norm? Like, why does that do this? Actually stresses me out. Okay, she's looking pretty adorable. I'm going to give her a little shadow under her eyes, like so. 
And then you guys say to leave off the eyelashes. Oh, wow. Well, they're gonna mess up her skin details anyway. Or I could just give it, what about like this? If I just give her like really small short ones. I think that's good. And it kind of is like giving her a little bit more of an eye shape, which I like as well. Ah, oh, she's looking so cute. Green hair though. Green hair could be a little bit of a challenge. Like, I can't even get green in that color. In that style, sorry. I mean, that's pretty green right there. That's like, mm, it's like a, almost like a, I don't know, gray more than green. That's kind of green, just not mega green. That's quite cute though. I like that. There's something about that. Also, that is very adorable. <sighs> Oh my gosh, toddlers, man. Oh, that would be so cute. That's not green. That's like blue, isn't it? Oh, that would be a big old cheat if I did that. We can save that though for indigo. That's green, but I'm not really digging that color. Oh my gosh, real cute green right there. Also green here. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't know. I'm kind of, it's between this and this. I'm kind of enjoying the fringe though. I've not had like many similar runes with a fringe. So I think I'm going to keep her little fringe. I like a little green bow in her hair too. That looks pretty. Although look at this. That matches her eyes so much. Okay, she's having that. New lips for her. <gasps> she's so baby. Oh, I could actually give her like completely different kinds of green eyes because <gasps> they're kind of cute, but I almost feel like they're a set. So I need to keep them like the same. I'm going to make her eyes pop a little bit more though. Like pow. Wow. So poppy. Okay, green. Can I give somebody my cute dungarees yet? Like, can that be an option now, please? No, I'm going to have to save that for one of the blues, I think. Oh, that looks cute. I like that. That's actually adorable. I'm gonna give her a bit more of a chubba web. Oh, wow. These ones have all disappeared for some reason. I do not know why. I think this one's a clear winner, though, so that's fine. And then can I give her some little green shoes? What about Wally Bobs? Do they go with this outfit though, Claire? You know what? They don't. They don't. I was gonna say, but I don't care, but I do care, so that would be a lie. I'm gonna give her the little sandals though. Okay, so this is baby green. Baby green rainbow, and she is real cute. Look at her go. She is actually adorable. Would she suit like just a few little freckles over her nose, maybe? Yep, she totally would. Okay, she is so, so cute. How would she look though? As an adult, kapow! Let's take off those skin details. No, no, sort of weird. <laughs> they always go so, like the the feature changes you do on a toddler are so extreme when you age them up. But at least when she's a Baba Root, she is so so cute. I'm gonna actually I meant to do her nose like a little bit closer to her face. There we go. Let me know what you think of little baby green. So we've got green, we've got Lello, we've got Wise Orange, and we've got beautiful little baby red as well. Well, now we move on to baby blue. Oh my gosh, my mom calls my brother baby my brother baby blue. Little baby blue. <laughs> I don't know why we just do. Pop her some blue eyes on. Oh my gosh, why does this child look so old? Why do you look like so old and wise child? I don't even know. It's kind of odd. I think it's the eyes. Like she's got really grown up eyes for some reason. I'm gonna give her a little darker skin tone. Let's make her eyes big, sure big and cute. Cute. Can I make him schmize a little bit as well? You know that I like a good schmize. <gasps> there you go. Give her a little bit of a wider nose. A little smiley face. Anybody else when they make toddlers just kind of like look at them and like smile? Because I do. I can't help it. I just like look and smile the whole time. Okay, she's looking cute. She's looking real cute. Okay, I swapped her eyes a little bit. I think these look a little bit better. Keep them schmizing though, you guys. Okay, she's looking super, super adorable. I actually, the hair it's given us so cute, but you're not going to be able to keep that, I'm afraid, little friendo. Blue hair. Hmm. This could be tough. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. What's that? I actually do have this hair. I do have this hair, but that to me is indigo. So I can't give her that hair. Again, indigo. Kind of wish I hadn't already used up that hair. <laughs> Although, we do have this. But it kind of looks better in indigo. I don't know whether to swap out this babaroo for indigo and do it that way instead. And like swap out her eyes for like this. I kind of like her being blue. Wow, that's super blue. Why can't you get these hairs in crazy colors? That's super annoying. In. Okay, pretty massive change of plan, as I'm sure you guys can probably tell. But I've realized both of my violets have been like 
kind of like quite pale. So I just thought, why don't we do something a little bit different and have like a, a darker skinned Violet Sim? I think she looks super, super cute. Hopefully you guys like her. I need to find her a little cute outfit, but I like her a lot. I think she's going to be adorable. Yes, 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 yes. Love that. Can I give her... Stop giving everyone welly bob. She looks... That, that outfit works with welly bobs though. Don't even lie to me. I think she looks so cute. So she started off as a blue, but she's kind of turned into a violet. I'm sorry. It's just kind of the way it's worked out. We've got a baby violet in the middle. How can I never spell violet? There we go. Baby violet rainbow. Very different to the violets I've been in so far. And I actually really, really like her. I know I use this hair all the time, but I don't have that many hairs for black sims. I also love this hair. I just think it's like a nicely made hair. Like, I love all the texture on it. I love like the individual strands. I just think it's a really good hair. There we go. Let me know what you think of a little violet. And now I'm gonna make blue. I know I'm doing this in a bit of a strange order now, but there you go. Okay, so blue is definitely quite different to the way we started with violet. I also realized we never saw how violet looked as an adult. Oh my gosh. Okay. Interesting. Interesting features going on there. I think we may just pretend I never age them up and keep them all cute and adorable because it's a lot easier to do it that way. So I've given this little bun bun a different kind of side profile to the ones I've done before. Just trying to get people like looking as different as I can because otherwise I'm going to end up with like super similar sims each time. I don't know. I'm trying. I know I make quite similar sims but I'm trying you guys. I am trying. I've given this one a little bit of a wider head. A little bit smaller eyes than the others. I think her eyebrows are a bit scary. I've got the super pale skin on her. I don't know if I'm going to keep it on her, but it's on her just for now. I also don't know if I'll keep this hair. But I wanted hair that would kind of show... Oh my gosh. I wanted some hair that would show how um, her ears were like a little bit pokey outy. But this one does a pretty good job of that too. She looks like she's about to start crying. Oh my gosh. Okay. I might go for this like ultra short of hair on her because I just think it looks really cute. She kind of looks like she's blowing away here. Oh man, I wish that one was a little bit more blue because that one's really cute. But I like this on her because she looks... She looks so sad. But in kind of a really adorable way. I actually love it so much. Oh, why is she so sad? I want to make her more sad. <laughs> okay, she needs a big old bow in her hair. Which color? I quite like the light. Yeah, I like the light blue. So cute. <laughs> She's so sad. Oh my gosh, with a little matching Dodie. She looks like she's crying. I might even Photoshop some tears on her. That's how cute she looks. Oh my gosh, I love her. <laughs> I know I do this every time I make a sim. I'm like, oh, I love her. Oh my gosh, she's so good. But they always are. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why are you so sad? I think it has to be like this kind of a regard, doesn't it? It seems to be like accentuating how sad she is. Which I'm kind of enjoying. Oh my gosh, yes. Oh, oh my god. Look at the back of it. She looks so cute, but she looks like she's kind of from the 20s. Except from the blue hair, which I'm not sure how many children from the 20s had. How does she look all grown up? You know what? Other than the strange nose, I would say she's one of our most beautiful beautiful grown-ups. And she is actually baby blue. Baby blue rainbow. So cute. Did I definitely call her Violet? Yes, I did. So there we go. Oh, I love her. Little baby blue looking super, super adorable and cute. Love her to bits. Okay, it's our final Babaroo, you guys. It is little indigo. Oh, wow. Look, she's going to be a cool dude. And we've previously done um like an indigo that had like a uh, Indian-y kind of vibes. And I like that a lot, so I'm kind of tempted to do something similar again. I really wish I had, like, little glasses for babies because I think it would be so adorable, but unfortunately I don't. Which is a shame because glasses for Baba Roos would look really cute. I don't know now. I've kind of just gone off piste a little bit. <laughs> just had a little bit of fun instead. It's a final sim. We can have a little bit of fun. This is what I really want to put an earring in. I don't know. I kind of just, like, went with this. I don't 
don't know. She's changed a lot. Over time, she's definitely changed quite a lot, but I kind of like her. I do like her. In a little indigo outfit. And what kind of shoeies can we put on her? I just kind of want to give everyone bear shoes, but I don't feel like it's the right thing to do in this case. I think these shoes probably go the best. And look, I gave her a little teeny tiny sailor heart. So she's baby indigo. Indigo is usually the one I have the most issues with, but I found her, like, I don't know. I feel like that hair goes quite well. The eyebrows are always going to be like the hard thing to match when you do this because like nothing really goes. So I'm just going to go for this kind of color here. Let me know what you think of her as well. Here is how she'd look all grown up. Wow. Quite strange, it has to be said. Definitely kind of strange. That's the moral of the story. If you want to make adorable, adorable toddlers, never age them up because you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. But there we go, guys. We have a baby. Let's start from the beginning of the rainbow. We have really, really cute baby red. Oh my gosh. I actually love her so, so much. We have wise, wise baby orange. Look at her. She's not even doing crazy stuff. She's just like pondering the meaning of the universe. Then we've got baby yellow with her little dodie looking super, super cute. I love the plots in that hair. And then we've got baby green looking mega adorable. There was one of the hair that I thought would work kind of well for baby green, which was like this hair. Which do you reckon looks better? That one's kind of more out there, isn't it? I don't know. As much as I like that, I think the fringe really suits her. I know the color's not a million percent, but I do like the fringe on her. And then we've got baby Violet, who kind of jumped the queue, but I do think she is mega adorable. One other, I'm sorry, I keep doing this, but there's another option for her, which would be like this hair, which you know what? Also looks mega cute. It's kind of hard to decide between the two. That or that. Oh, it's hard. I give every, I've never done on this challenge giving anyone this hair because I always end up going for the the um, dreads. So I'm going to go for the braids. Sorry to mix her up at the last moment. I also know this hair doesn't work from the side with toddlers, but it looks good from the front. So that's good enough for me. Okay. And then we've got baby blue who looks like she's going to do a little cry. And I kind of love her for that. And then we've got baby little indigo as well. So let me know what you think of them all. Who is your favorite? I'm kind of torn between baby blue just because I love how sad she looks. But also I like baby red a lot as well. But then I also really like baby violet. But then I love baby green. I don't know. It's a tough one. You guys are going to have to let me know who your favorite is in the comments below. You guys are to this challenge as well. Please let me know. And I hope you've enjoyed my my little toddler rainbow challenge. If you want me to do a boy one, let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.